Less than two to go. Create Belief strikes the front from even flow. New Hill in the middle of the track running on as Pale Addis and then comes Adelise and these five are clear. As they hit the furlong pole, it is Create Belief, Pale Addis, Red Cap trying to challenge. Adelise is still there on the rail. As they rush into the closing stages, it's Create Belief and Ben Cohn who's going to contain Adelise and Pale Addis. Less than two to go, Create Belief strikes the front from even flow. New Hill in the middle of the track running on as Pale Addis and then comes Adelise and these five are clear. As they hit the furlong pole, it is Create Belief, Pale Addis, Red Cap trying to challenge. Adelise is still there on the rail. As they rush into the closing stages, it's Create Belief and Ben Cohn who's going to contain Adelise and Pale Addis. Racing inside the final two furlongs, Erzin Jan is the leader from Liffey River. Roman Empire has dropped back on the rail. Then Vafortino, who's trying to stay on with lay laps in between horses. Racing inside the final furlong, and it's Erzin Jan in the lead as they run up towards the finish. Is winning well the Irish EBF three year old race. Erzin Jan, fitness comes to the fore. Lay lap second, third is Vafortino, and then Liffey River in the gap to Roman Empire. Racing inside the final two furlongs, Erzin Jan is the leader from Liffey River. Roman Empire has dropped back on the rail. Then Vafortino, who's trying to stay on with lay laps in between horses. Racing inside the final furlong, and it's Erzin Jan in the lead as they run up towards the finish. Is winning well the Irish EBF three year old race. Erzin Jan, fitness comes to the fore. Lay lap second, third is Vafortino, and then Liffey River in the gap to Roman Empire. Racing past the two, it's Skill Warrior and Stylistic Approach opening up a lead over Tall Story Emporio has ground to make up on the outside and then Flying Hawaiian with Texas Moon as they race towards the final furlong and battling it out. Skill Warrior and Stylistic Approach followed by Texas Moon Flying Hawaiian into the final 50 yards and it's Stylistic Approach who's getting up to beat Skill Warrior cleared of Texas Moon. Racing past the two, it's Skill Warrior and Stylistic Approach opening up a lead over Tall Story Emporio has ground to make up on the outside and then Flying Hawaiian with Texas Moon as they race towards the final furlong and battling it out. Skill Warrior and Stylistic Approach followed by Texas Moon Flying Hawaiian into the final 50 yards and it's Stylistic Approach who's getting up to beat Skill Warrior clear of Texas Moon. Druk is followed then by Church Mountain, and they're being followed by Bad and Wild. Furling and a half to go, they've still got to get to the front running Rocket 12 with visualization coming back on the outside, and they're followed by Lunar Space, Druk, Baddestown, White Pepper, inside the final furlong, and it's visualization doing best in the closing stages, is stretching away to beat Rocket 12, Druk, and Baddestown will be fourth. Druk is followed then by Church Mountain, and they're being followed by Bad and Wild. Furling and a half to go, they've still got to get to the front running Rocket 12 with visualization, coming back on the outside, and they're followed by Lunar Space, Druk, Baddestown, White Pepper, inside the final furlong, and it's visualization doing best in the closing stages, is stretching away to beat Rocket 12, Druk, and Baddestown will be fourth. Getting a good run through over on the far side is No Way Jack. Falling and a half to go, and it is Ottawa Fire, who's sent on by Ben Cohen. The challengers, No Way Jack and Wayne Lorden, and these two are fighting it out. Gone on from Gold Lord Gregory's gift, and then Q Palace. It is Ottawa Fire in the lead, and toughing it out well for Ben Cohen. Is lengthening clear from No Way Jack, and at the finish, it's doubles for Ben Cohen, Johnny Murtha. Ottawa Fire beat No Way Jack, and the third is tight between Gregory's Gift and Q Palace. 
Getting a good run through over on the far side is No Way Jack. Furling and a half to go, and it is Ottawa Fire, who's sent on by Ben Cohen. The challengers, No Way Jack and Wayne Lorden, and these two are fighting it out. Gone on from goal to low, Gregory's gift, and then Q Palace. It is Ottawa Fire in the lead, and toughing it out well for Ben Cohen is lengthening clear from No Way Jack. And at the finish, it's doubles for Ben Cohen, Johnny Murtha. Ottawa Fire beat No Way Jack, and the third is tight between Gregory's Gift and Q Palace. And it's Springbank with a reduced advantage over Stratum, who's responding well in the centre. On the outside is Camorra and then Camphor and Low Sun. Inside the two they come, and it's Springbank. Game effort in Frontier, trying to fight off. Stratum, then Camorra. These three have gone clear of the other two, and Stratum hits the front, racing inside the final 200 yards. And it's Stratum racing on from Springbank, who's given it a great go, and then Camorra, and up to the finish. Stratum, former English Zarich winner, gets his career back on track from Springbank and Camorra. And it's Springbank with a reduced advantage over Stratum, who's responding well in the centre. On the outside is Camorra and then Camphor and Low Sun. Inside the two they come, and it's Springbank. Game effort in Frontier, trying to fight off. Stratum, then Camorra. These three have gone clear of the other two, and Stratum hits the front, racing inside the final 200 yards. And it's Stratum racing on from Springbank, who's given it a great go, and then Camorra, and up to the finish. Stratum, former English Zarich winner, gets his career back on track from Springbank and Camorra. And then comes Indignation. Talsara has drifted right across to the stand side. Over on the far rail is Stella Fi with Marvel Fan and High Lake and the Abbey racing to the final furlong. And they're spread right across the course. It's Auntie Audrey in the lead from Stella Fi, Marvel Fan, and into the closing stages. It's Auntie Audrey and Alan Purse winning for Pat Flynn and is a nonchalant winner from Stella Fi and Marvel Fan. And then comes Indignation. Talsara has drifted right across to the stand side. Over on the far rail is Stella Fi with Marvel Fan and High Lake and the Abbey racing to the final furlong. And they're spread right across the course. It's Auntie Audrey in the lead from Stella Fi, Marvel Fan. And into the closing stages, it's Auntie Audrey and Alan Purse winning for Pat Flynn and is a nonchalant winner from Stella Fi and Marvel Fan. Miss Dance a lot, Dusty wins. William of Wickham stays on from the back of the field with a little over a furlong to go. It's Mer Ward and Aloha Mora coming clear of the field from William of Wickham and then Victory March. Dusty wins and nudged the judge inside the final furlong and it's Mer Ward getting the better of Aloha Mora. Six lengths back to the third, William of Wickham and at the finish it's Mer Ward winning for Honour Breeders. The Morris' second is Aloha Mora and William of Wickham third ahead of Mountain Fox. Miss Dance a lot, Dusty wins. William of Wickham stays on from the back of the field with a little over a furlong to go. It's Mer Ward and Aloha Mora coming clear of the field from William of Wickham and then Victory March. Dusty wins and nudged the judge inside the final furlong and it's Mer Ward getting the better of Aloha Mora. Six lengths back to the third, William of Wickham and at the finish it's Mer Ward winning for Honour Breeders. The Morris's second is Aloha Mora and William of Wickham third ahead of Mountain Fox.